good morning uh, everybody in the previous lecture we solved the problems related to determination of the boundary layer thickness now in today's class one of the most important topic growth of boundary layer over a flat plate this we will take it up explain the growth of boundary layer over a flat plate this is the topic and how the boundary layer growth will be that we have to discuss so let us go into the topic straight already topic i mentioned it is growth of boundary layer Or a flat plate. So I. So this is the flat plate, the flat glass plate, like, right? and this is stationary that means fixed glass plate it is directly facing the stream for example the stream with a velocity is approaching the flat plate so the velocity of the stream approaching the flat plate is v and how this flat plate is kept this flat plate is kept parallel to the flow it is directly kept at parallel to the flow but again it is stationary so the same i write in boards consider a long thin plate held stationary that means it is not moving in the direction parallel to the flow in a uniform stream of velocity p this velocity is called free stream velocity or ambient velocity or potential velocity at the leading edge at the leading edge this is what we call it as the leading edge at the leading edge the boundary layer thickness is equal to 0 at the leading edge the boundary layer thickness is zero right that as the distance increases the boundary layer thickness increases this edge is called as trailing edge starting point is leading edge and end point is trailing edge 
first see then i will explain how the growth of the boundary layer is this is how up to a certain distance x from the leading edge this is how the growth will be after this there will be some just in this fashion then rapidly it increases up to a certain distance it increases then there is a transition and then there is a rapid growth of the boundary layer so up to this x we call this as laminar boundary layer this is called transition and beyond this is called as turbulent boundary layer see first one if i call this as first one this is laminar boundary layer then second one you call it as transition and third one is turbulent boundary layer within the turbulent boundary layer there exists a very small zone this is called four and this is called laminar sublayer so how many are there irrespective of whether the incoming flow whether the incoming flow is laminar are turbulent we find four zones over the flat plane number 1 is laminar boundary layer number 2 is transition number 3 is turbulent boundary layer and number 4 is laminar sublayer so these are the four zones my next job is what are these how they will be once again for your explanation sake i am again and again drawing the figure this is the stationary plate this is the free stream i have shown only on one side of the plate right this is leading edge this is called drilling edge the boundary layer that is formed is like this and then basically this and this and here in this a very small zone so these are the four so first let us take it first one laminar boundary layer so it, what is that i will explain is called as lbl as the boundary layer develops up to a certain distance up to a certain distance you take it as x up to a certain distance the flow in the boundary layer exhibits the characteristics of laminar flow 
that means the velocity distribution is parabolic. So, in this particular portion up to this portion, the flow in this exhibits the, here the laminar flow characteristics. How can you know whether the flow is laminar characteristics? First one is the flow takes place in straight paths. But how to determine that also? If you take the velocity distribution at any point, actually, it will be parabolic. Actually, this laminar boundary layer extends up to a distance x up to a distance x that is up to a Reynolds number of 5 into 10 to the power of 5 up to that it expands. So as long as Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 to the power of 5, the boundary layer is laminar. This is the crux. Then what is the Reynolds number? You know it is rho Vx by mu should be less than basically it is less than 5 into 10 to the power of 5 or this is also write it as Vx by nu is equal to is less than 5 into 10 to the power of sometimes people will write equal to also up to a Reynolds number of 5 into 10 to the power of 5 basically we call the flow in the boundary layer is laminar flow and this boundary layer is called as basically laminar boundary layer so laminar boundary layer threshold is up to a distance x that is until the Reynolds number is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of 5, the boundary layer is laminar. Then, number 2, after the, the boundary layer characteristics, are slowly changing and the flow exhibits the characteristics of laminar flow sometimes and turbulent flow sometimes. Then this region called transition. You remember that the laminar boundary layer is highly unstable. The laminar boundary layer is unstable that is the flow in the boundary layer is unstable so then third the flow in the boundary layer exhibits the characteristics of turbulent flow. This bound, this 
portion is called turbulent boundary layer. So what I mentioned, so initially laminar boundary layer is formed, then after that uh, the flow, uh, the flow, unstable flow is going to stabilize. So for that stabilization, it takes some portion of the length of the plate. That portion of the length of the plate, the, the flow so just is oscillating in such a way sometimes it shows laminar flow characteristics sometimes it flow shows the turbulent flow characteristics so we are not able to clearly say whether it is laminar or whether it is turbulent so that portion is what we call it as uh, the basically the transition region once the flow becomes turbulent becomes basically the stable that is the last portion the first portion is laminar flow the last portion is turbulent flow in between the flow is changing from laminar flow to turbulent flow so some depending on the velocity depending upon the viscosity depending upon the pressure gradient all these characteristics depending on the length of the plate so it shows uh, sometimes laminar sometimes turbulent so that is why that region is an undefined region which we call it as transition once that region is more then the flow exhibits the characteristics of turbulent flow only and that is called as a turbulent boundary layer what is that characteristic actually that characteristic is nothing but the velocity distribution the velocity distribution is logarithmic and it satisfies and it is based on one seventh power law. So this that means if the Reynolds number is greater than 5 into 10 to the power of 5 then the boundary layer is the brent boundary layer and this continues up to this continues up to the reynolds number 10 to the power of 7 right so this is regarding the turbulent flow so if it is a First thing you should understand, LBL means the Reynolds number less than or equal to 5 into 10 to the power of 5. Turbulent boundary layer means REX greater than 5 into 10 to the power of 5. So these two you should understand. Now fourth region I mentioned actually. Within the turbulent boundary layer, Within the turbulent boundary layer, if the plate is very smooth, if the plate is very smooth, two characteristics. Within the boundary layer, if the plate is very smooth, there exists a small zone. There exists a small zone. There exists a small zone adjacent to the boundary. Adjacent to the boundary. And the and the flow in this adjacent portion adjacent portion of turbulent layer turbulent boundary layer exhibits characteristics of laminar flow 
This is called laminar sublayer. Here, the velocity distribution is linear. So once again, I close this topic. Just see the figure. How many times you practice, it is good. So this is a flat plate. This is stationary. Now the flow is like this. The velocity V is free stream velocity. So this is the leading edge. From the leading edge, this is how. Then this is how it will be. Then this is how. So this is called as 1, this as 2, this as 3. And in this, actually, again, this as 4. So this first, this is what we call it as a leading edge. This is called as trailing edge. So this one is called as laminar boundary layer. Second is called transition. Third one is called as turbulent boundary layer. Fourth one is called as laminar sublayer. Right? So this is what I explained. I want to show one more figure to you also. Suppose this is the plate. This plate is stationary. And it is held parallel to the flow. Now the flow is like this. So up and down. Then how the boundary layer will be? So here it is like this. 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 This upper portion. Bottom portion also like this. So on both sides of the plate, the boundary layer growth will be there. Again, this is LBL, this is transition, this is TBL, this is laminar sublayer. Here LBL, transition, then this is TBL and this is laminar. So on both sides of the plate, basically the boundary layer forms. Now the last point in this topic is what are the factors? Very, very important. Factors governing the thickness of the boundary layer. Factors governing the thickness of boundary layer. There are four factors. Number one, length of the plate length of the plate also i can write it as in a distance from leading edge this is one factor distance from leading edge Remember that as the distance from the boundary layer, from the leading edge, as the distance from the leading edge increases, the boundary layer thickness increases the more the length of the plate the more the thickness of it actually so that is number one number two 
the velocity of flow. As the velocity of flow increases, the thickness of boundary layer decreases. The more the velocity, the lesser the thickness. If velocity of flow increases, thickness decreases. Distance increases, thickness increases. Number three. Greater the kinematic viscosity, No, then greater the the thickness of boundary layer. If the no is more, BL thickness is more. No is more thickness increases. This is third. Fourth one, pressure gradient. Pressure gradient means dou P by dou X. Change of pressure in the direction of flow. Right. First one, if pressure gradient is positive, Pressure gradient is positive, right? That means pressure increases in the direction of flow. When pressure increases, what happens to velocity? It decreases. When the velocity decreases, what happens to the thickness of the boundary layer? Increases. In the, if the pressure gradient is positive, which is also called as adverse pressure gradient. Why adverse pressure gradient? Generally, what happens? Uh, pressure decreases in the direction of flow. That is what happens actually. The pressure decreases in the direction of flow. So, but adverse pre pressure gradient increases if the pressure gradient is positive, that is adverse pressure gradient, then the boundary layer thickness increases. Reason being velocity decreases. If the pressure gradient is the negative, pressure gradient is negative actually, right? That is dou P by dou X is equal to negative. Then what happens? Pressure decreases. and pressure decreases, velocity increases. The boundary layer thickness decreases. Third, if the pressure gradient is zero, That is dou P by dou X is equal to zero, right? That is velocity is uniform. Then boundary layer thickness grows steadily. So these are the four points you should write. So all this completes to me one very, very, very important question called as explain the growth of boundary layer over a flat plate. So that is very important. I am telling you in this, uh, the most important question in this particular topic uh, is only that. So kindly prepare thoroughly for this question. Now, actually, so I have taken only in this lecture, 
I have taken up in this lecture to explain how the boundary layer grows over a flat plate. And then basically each of that portions I try to explain. And that if you write it and, and what are the factors that govern the thickness of the boundary layer at the end I told. All this becomes one question for you in even in the examination, the theory question. Prepare thoroughly this theory question actually. So once you prepare this theory questions seriously, then the next class I will take up, take you to each of these portions. For example, the first portion laminar boundary layer. I told laminar boundary layer extends up to a Reynolds number of 5 into 10 to the power of 5. Beyond 5 into 10 to the power of 5, the boundary layer is turbulent. Right? Then within the turbulent boundary layer, a small zone exists adjacent to the boundary where the flow characteristics of laminar, which is called as laminar sublayer. And between the laminar and turbulent boundary layer, there is a basically where the flow is stabilizing. That means uh, an unstable flow becomes stabilized there. The flow characteristics are mixing. Basically, it is laminar and turbulent. So that's why that region is called as transition so these four we explain once we and un you understand what are these things uh, then i will take you into the next topics called as each layer then what are the characteristics of the laminar boundary layer how to if suppose a la laminar boundary layer forms what is its effect actually what's effect okay boundary layer forms next what because of the boundary layer, what's the problem for us actually? So that we have to take it up. So if a laminar boundary layer forms on a flat plate, so these are the problems. So first thing is, uh, what is the basically because of that, how much thickness will be there? First, I should know. I need to tell you what is the thickness. Then second, I should tell you because of that, any resistance is there. What is that shear resistance? Final problem is all these boundary layer formations lead to the development of resistance force and that shear resistance, how much it will be. And that shear resistance, once you determine what is the resistance force, which we call it as drag. Drag is nothing but the resistance force. If suppose we are running, then some force is really uh, coming in the opposite direction. That is resisting our movement, resisting our running actually. That flow is the drag force. So what is that drag force? That I need to determine. Okay. Now the boundary layer thing is not laminar boundary layer. It is turbulent. Then in that case, uh, what is the thickness of it? What is the shear stress developed if the boundary layer is a turbulent boundary layer? And naturally, what is the resistance drag? So that is number two. Number three is uh, if suppose on a flat plate up to some portion is laminar boundary layer, remaining is turbulent boundary layer. Then what is the shear stress? Then what is the what you call it as drag force? Then last, what is the importance of laminar sublayer? Why we studied about this laminar sublayer? So that is the last. So this is what the next topic is. So kindly before you want to take it up that, first you should understand on what factors the thickness of the boundary layer depends. And at the same time, what are, what is, what are the various uh, Jones that forms uh, in the growth of boundary layer. With this, I will stop this lecture and let us meet in the next lecture with straight away each layer, what is the effect, right? With that, I will take it you to the next actually. Thank you. Thank you so much for your patience. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.